Greetings Exiles. The new league has started and that means it's time for new adventures. Let's see what Chris has in store for us this time. The Dweller with Corrupted Blood. Just what I need. Now this is interesting. My favorite belt. But unfortunately I have to sell it because I want to buy a more important item. Bit of dream. Crazy item. That's funny. Well, why not? Unlucky. That was a fun campaign. As you can see for yourself, I was able to buy three key items for this build already in the campaign. And with them you can easily complete all white, yellow, and early red maps. And in theory we should have no problem completing the atlas. One last purchase and we can move on to the maps. I really like this build because these explosions are very satisfying. As I said before with Bitter Dream you will have no problem completing Atlas because it is a strong weapon that gives us a lot of damage and at the same time it is very cheap. First Tink. Not bad. Pretty good jewel. I've always been a ritual enjoyer. As for my starting atlas, it looks like this. I initially wanted to use Unwavering Vision, but then dropped that idea because I wanted to find out how often scarabs would drop. First of all, I took Nico and packed with energy because it's extra damage and speed at the beginning of the league when our character is weak. Next, it's a lot of nodes for map sustain and some nodes for scarabs. Well, why not? It may not be the most optimal atlas, but overall, I'm happy with it. I earned some currency, and let's improve this build. First of all, I bought a heat shiver. Nice. I will also need good rare items with spell suppression, life, and resistances. With this gear, I will be able to complete most red maps and get my first two void stones. But before I do that, a small digression, because I would like to talk about this build. There were a lot of comments under my last video that this is a very squishy build, but that's not really true. When I made this Cold Blade Vortex variant, I knew that my video would be watched by a lot of new players, so I decided to focus on defense. I use Grace, Determination, and a Tempest Shield. And as I think I have a relatively strong build. For example, at the moment my character is level 90 and I've died only 41 times. For some of my viewers that might be a high number of deaths. Especially if you play on hardcore. But thank goodness it's softcore and that doesn't sound like a lot to me. I specifically showed you the number of deaths that would make you realize that even though we have no uber defense you will die pretty rarely. Also at the beginning we have a lot of free sockets so I used call to arms with enduring cry and steel skin with a new automation support gem. Which also slightly improved our defense and survivability. As for damage, it is also pretty good and all thanks to our explosions that kill all monsters very quickly. The only serious downside is the single target DPS and at the start it will be very low. But Heat Shiver partially solves this problem and with a small investment in this build we can improve our single target damage. Besides, the main goal of this build is very fast mapping and not bossing. And with its main task it copes perfectly. But enough ranting, let's get our Void Stones. The first Void Stone is mine. Like I said before, not the best single target DPS. But the second Void Stone is mine. No good loot. Never lucky. Well, now the Void Stones are mine and most of the Atlas is complete. Now we can think about how I will earn currency. As you may have noticed until now, I haven't said anything about the new League mechanics. Well, what can I say? Nothing good to say. 
So no comments for now and I will wait for GGG to improve it because at the moment it is very weak and if you need a lot of currency you need to look elsewhere. So I decided to focus on Legion because it is a very profitable mechanic. Also red altars and some scarabs. By the way, in this league the developers gave us two additional atlas trees for which I thank them very much. Very useful option. I also have a secret atlas tree with ritual because with the new scarabs this mechanic could be very good. Well I hope so, but that's a topic for a separate video. But before I move on to earning currency, let's invest a little in this character to kill legion much faster and more efficiently. First of all I need 6 links. Sacrificial garb is the best armor for us. I bought divination cards and got what I needed. I use several essences to get at least some useful characteristics. At the moment I won't do complex crafting because I don't have the resources for it and I'll leave it for later. I also need a belt like this. And to tell you the truth, it's not the most efficient purchase. But I need life leech because life sustain is a problem for this build. And this is the easiest way to get it. So I decided not to bother. A new amulet. Something like this. And a new weapon. Nice. Also at this point I'm doing respect to critical strike because it will give us more damage with good gear. I almost forgot. Anoint. This is very important. Even though this character is far from being a hero, it's definitely not a zero. And now I can focus on legion farming to earn a lot of divine orbs and buy new cool items. My favorite sound. Easy money. And what do we have here? This scarab is worth three divine orbs. No way. Let's see what this nameless scam is. Wow, it's not a scam. This is how the first days of the new league went for me, but there is still a lot of work to do and this is just the beginning of my journey. Thank you all for watching, commenting. I appreciate it. Also, I will be very grateful for your likes and subscriptions. Bye everyone and see you in new videos.